And what book of Friedrich Nietzsche were these quotes pulled from? The Antichrist. Nietzsche also wrote, Beyond Good and Evil. That's how the all-seeing eye sees things, remember? So does Christopher Hyatt mention mass murder and depopulation in his book? Sure, here you go. Those who would survive can do so only by grasping the vision of what lies ahead. The new wave that will carry them into an interesting future. Yeah, where the vicar of Lucifer is God and Prime Minister. He openly admits the identity of this man. This Antichrist that most of you still think is a fairy tale figure from a fairy tale book. Jesus calls him the man of sin whose number is 666. The actual Antichrist, beloved of the secret societies. Yes, people, the New Age is satanic, actually and literally. On the front cover of this book, in which Christopher was co writer, you can clearly see the eye in the triangle of the Freemasons above the Baphomet. Christopher admits in another book that both satanic cults and Christian fundamentalists are closer to seeing the truth than most normal people. Yes, indeed, how true that is. In Coming World Changes, Harriet and Homer Curtis speak of a prophecy they received from a mysterious spirit titled King of the World. Now, I wonder who that could be. Think not that any country in this broad world can escape. And they also speak of the long-expected great teacher, the king of the new one-world government. The victors will remain as the seed of the new race to people the new land for the new sixth great race. This is the race that Luciferian Lady Gaga referred to. All part of the plan. In Threshold to Tomorrow, New Age author Ruth Montgomery writes on page 206 that only those open to the reality of one world will be around to enjoy it. Sounds like another vague suggestion for mass murder. Vera Elder Stanley's book title implies much the same thing. Initiation of the world. That's right. It's coming. You think Vera hasn't been initiated into the secret one-eyed religion? What else has she authored? How about the finding of the third eye, the all-seeing eye? New Age author John Randolph Price writes in The Planetary Commission, in question and answer form, how do you define the Antichrist? The answer is pretty amazing. Any individual or group who denies the divinity of man as exemplified by Jesus Christ, the highest self of each individual, which Jesus Christ never exemplified because he is God. If you deny that mere men and women are divine gods, you are unfit for the glorious New Age Kingdom. And you are the definition of Antichrist. In Practical Spirituality, he prepares his readers for a population drop of 2.5 billion people before the New Age era can begin. On page 32 of New Age author Barbara Marks Hubbard's book, Happy Birthday Planet Earth, she states that people will either change or die. That's the choice, she says. Notice the New Age has a new gospel, yet all the while... The world will be neglected of the information in the real Gospels, where it warns and predicts. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus, not the Jesus whom we preached, or another Gospel, you are most beautifully tolerant of them. In the Book of Knowledge, The Keys of Enoch, the writer has a quote-unquote direct experience with two spirits, Enoch and Metatron, and they share with the writer spiritually scientific teachings regarding the new system of things soon to be fully manifest. The reason this work is considered extra special amongst its readers is because it was the first book to point out the alignment between the Great Pyramid and the constellation of Orion. The first book ever. That's basically proof that these spirits, Enoch and Metatron, are the real deal. Not only that, it was also the first book to show the direct relationship between DNA coding and the divine name. That's pretty serious, and the atheists should be really waking up by now, because this is the world's most powerful and secret religion we're talking about, nothing less. The writer was told that those who govern the earth are those who have fallen from the heavens. He calls them the masters, and even states that they were punished with penalties that were assigned to each. 